It's normal. Most people don't have it all figured out. They don't know what they want. And if they do know what they want, they don't know how to get there. And anyone that tells you that they have it all figured out, maybe they do. Maybe they genuinely believe that they do. But more times than not, their plans will change and their plans will break. And that's okay. That's part of life. It's actually better to realize that you don't have it all figured out. That actually helps you because... When you genuinely believe that you have it all figured out and you have this big plan, which is good, it's good to have plans. But if you 100% believe that whatever you're going to do is going to work, when you fail, sometimes that failure is really hard. So I think it's better to have the perspective that, yes, I have a plan. Yes, these are the steps I'm going to take to accomplish my goal. But they might not work. I'm just going to do my best and hope for the best. And if they work, good stuff. If they don't work, I'll try something else. And that's, that's the right attitude, I think, to have in life. Another reason that I think it's better not to have it all figured out is because when you think you have it all figured out, you put restrictions on yourself. You say, oh, I have to do this this way because this is the only way. And that's not good. That hurts you. You want to stay fluid in life. You know, I was watching this, this documentary last night uh, on Netflix. I had seen it before. Just the first episode. It's called Losers. And the first episode features Michael Bent, who was a boxer, who never really wanted to be a boxer. But he was. He ended up being a champion. And he didn't feel like one. Long story short... He had some ups and downs, real struggle, got knocked out, wrote an article about what it's like to be knocked out, and that kind of set the tone for the rest of his life. And he expanded beyond boxing. He was successful in many other avenues in life. So here's this guy who ended up being a boxer who didn't really want to be one. He was successful, but then his life changed. And that's how life is. A lot of times you, you go into life and you have these plans. And you have these things you want to do, but you end up somewhere else. You end up somewhere in life that you didn't think you'd be. Now, you might be watching this video and you might be thinking, well, I ended up somewhere in life that I really don't want to be. Well, then you need to change that. You need to change your life and, and try to get yourself to, to a different place. And I think the way to do that is to have a big goal. Like a big, a big lofty goal. A goal that is so big that it's almost unrealistic. And if you look up stuff on the internet, like how to change my life, plan to change my life, what can I do to make my life better? You're gonna get stuff like set manageable goals, you know, this and that. But setting manageable goals is good. It's a stepping stone. You're gonna to need to set those at some point, but you still have to have that big goal, that really big dream, that goal that is gonna keep you pushing when you don't want to push. That goal is, that's going to get you up in the morning and get you to study or get you to work out, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, that goal that's going to keep you going when things aren't good. Because some days are better than others, right? Some days are going to be better than others. And you need to have a big goal, a big dream. Some people think that, I know people like this, and they're great people, but they think my only hope is to win the lottery. I mean, that's okay, but you're counting on luck. It's, it's good to be lucky in life, but you can't count on luck. Luck is something that comes through hard work. There's this old saying that says, I forgot who said it. I find the harder I work, the luckier I am. Right? It's pretty, pretty good. So try to find a big goal, whatever it is. Maybe you want to be a mathematician. Maybe you want to be a scientist. Maybe you, know, you want to be an astronaut. Anything, whatever it is you want to do, set that big goal. And then, and then work on the details. And, and details are just details. That's what the internet is for. That's why you Google stuff and say, how do I you know, study for this test? What's the best way to get good at calculus? That, that's, that's something else. 
that you can look up. But you have to have that big goal because that big goal is what's going to keep you trying. It's what's going to help you when you when you try these other things and they don't work. You're likely to give up if you don't have that big goal. That big goal is what's going to keep you going. It's going to keep you going. And sometimes plans change, right? Again, sometimes plans change. Just like that episode of Netflix I was watching, uh, Losers, with Michael Bent. You know, plans change. So try to stay fluid. Try to stay fluid in your goals. Anyway, it's kind of a rant of a video. I just, I wanted to reply to this email I got. This person whose life was a mess. They had no direction. You know, they didn't know, you know, what to do with their lives. And I, I couldn't read the email, so I thought, let me just make this quick video here to, to discuss, you know, things that you can do that will help you. And I think, I think having that big goal and realizing that not everyone has it figured out is a good first step, right? And realizing that maybe it's better that you don't have it figured out. So if you're watching this, you're thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. It's okay, but at least make a big goal. So after you watch this video, what you should do is you should get a, a pencil or a piece of paper, if, if you have one around, or, or, or write it in like a, a, a Word document or like a notepad document on your computer, whatever, just a text document on your computer and write down big life goal. What is, what is your big life goal? What do you really want? What are the things that you really want in life? You know, if you want, maybe you want a house, maybe you want money, maybe you want to be married, maybe you want kids, maybe you want a career in XYZ, write those things down. And then those are your big goals. And then, and then how you get there, that's, the details. That's where you do research. That's where you go online and you search, okay, how do I you know, do X, Y, Z? How do I? And then you work on those goals every day if you can. But you have to have those goals. And don't be pessimistic. I think that a lot of people, a lot of people, this is a problem I've never had, but I've noticed it in a lot of people. They, they have these big goals, but they're afraid to try to aim for them because they think they're not realistic. I think it's okay to aim for unrealistic goals. You're never going to, well, unless you get lucky, but so luck aside, you're never going to accomplish big things. You're never going to achieve your unrealistic goals if you don't have unrealistic goals. You know, you have to have big goals, really big goals. In order, in order for you to get something really, really big, typically you have to want it. You have to work towards it. Typically, that's how it works, right? If someone wants to do X, Y, Z, they set that as a goal. So if you want to do something amazing, if that's not one of your goals because you think it's unrealistic, then chances are you're never going to achieve it. So set those big goals. Realize that you probably don't have it all figured out. Realize that nobody, most people don't have it all figured out. And realize that if somebody tells you that they have it all figured out, they probably don't. Okay, they probably don't. Now, someone can give you advice on how to do X, Y, Z, and that can be genuine advice. They could be giving you their best advice because that's what worked for them. But that doesn't mean they have it all figured out. I don't have it all figured out. Nobody does. And I think it's better not to. And that's, that's really the main point of this video. You know, it's okay not to have it figured out and make a big goal. Anyway, it's just a rant of a video. If you are watching this video, and you want to learn mathematics, this is a math channel. I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy website, but please use the links through my website, which is a terrible website. Someday I will make it better. It's a terrible website. That should be a goal of mine, but it's not, not yet. It, it needs to be. Anyways, use the links <laughs> from my website um, if you want to sign up for math courses, I have courses on everything. And again, if you take away anything from, anything from this video, when you stop watching this video, if you're still watching it, well, subscribe if you want to, if not, that's okay, but make a goal for yourself and make it unrealistic. So what? It's okay to have unrealistic goals. Realize you, you might never achieve your goal. You might never achieve your unrealistic goal, but I think it's good to have one because it'll keep you going and it gives you something to strive for. And I think that's part of being a human being. You need that. Good luck.